Well, hello, dear. We're back. It's so good to hear from you again. Actually, for me, I just went to use the bathroom, and I'm feeling really good. So let's finish this circle thing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I refer you to episode 32, in which we did an axis align bounding box, and then we decided to go on and create this circle collision utility for next time. Well, I got a surprise for you. It's next time. So, what I want to do is let's let's just draw a circle real quick. Uh, it's going to be self.love.graphics.circle. It's very similar to the um, rectangle. And it's going to be a line, and it's going to be an X and a Y, I think, and a radius, or is it radius X, Y? I don't remember. Let's see what happens with this. If it's a giant giant circle. Oh, look, we put self. <laughs> I feel foolish now. Oh, it's not myself. It's self-love. Okay, yeah, I'm right. It's, it's, there it is. It's red. So what let's do... Let's just make some circles really quick. So we'll say self dot c1. We'll make it a new table. We'll say x equals 200. Y equals 200. Uh, radius equals 20. And we'll say color equals u dot color. Let's make this one white. Now let's draw c1 down here. x c1 dot y c1 dot radius what we also want to do is let me go in here and let's grab set color where we want to set the color for our little fella to self dot c1 dot color okay let's do a little draw test again and make sure we've got him let's create another circle. See, we're doing this really quick so we can just test our little function that we created last time. If you remember, we created this circle collision. So circle to circle collision, and we said you can check the center points of each of those circles, the distance between them. If it's less than the sum of their radii, then they're colliding. So that's what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to check and make sure that works. So let's put him at uh, 280, and let's make him let's make him 40 large, 40 large, and we'll just duplicate this. And remember, we could make a proper class for this, but really, we're just we're just testing everything out, right? That's what we're that's what we're doing here, dears. Let's see if this works. They're both going to be white, but they work. Let's make him 128, 200. What what happens if we do that? What is the color? It's not different enough, is it? Let's add some blue. Probably the blue isn't a good idea. No, no, no. It's 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 different. Maybe we should do two fifty five for this. Okay. That's that's fine. And let's move him a little bit farther away. Now, what? We're going to do the same thing for our circles that we did for this axis align bounding box, but we're going to use that circle test that we created last time. Circle collide, and that's going to do this. And we're just going to say self.c1, self.c2. And then we're going to say self.c1.color, self.c1.color. That's so it's going to change it to the same color that our this little guy was when we were doing the the player. And then let's go back to the player and let's grab this up and down and let's utilize it here also. Just so that we can minimize the code use. Uh, well, we're actually maximizing the code. We're copying. Don't repeat yourself, the dry principle, which is what we're violating all over the place here. But that, it's okay, because we're prototyping. You know what prototyping is? I hope you know what it is, because it's fantastically fun to do. So, 
So now we should be able to move that one circular circle up and down. Let's check. Yep, and see he's moving along up and down with with our friend Harry here. I just named him. Does that mean that I'm going to have to call him Harry through the rest of the series? Surely not. And what we can do, we could actually do this and say, let's use the WASD keys and move him up and down like that. And let's additionally add left and right movements. So we're going to do some more cutting and pasting. That's going to be A. That's going to be D. Oh, not. It's going to be D. And we'll do X, 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 X. Uh, D will be plus, and this one will be minus. Let's check and see. Uh, okay, our circle's moving. Let's see if it, yep, look at that. And we get inside, inside, anywhere, and he's colliding. So this is really, really wonderful, huh? Yeah, it's really fantastic. What about the collision between a circle and a rectangle? Perhaps we should look into that as well. Really, what we should probably look into is when we collide, what should we do about it? Well, that is something that we can discuss for the next episode. And that next episode will come, by definition, next time. We'll see you then. Goodbye.